Everybody has an opinion about how kids should be eating, the types of food that we should be serving. I like when they make carrots because they're really sweet and they're really yummy. My favorite part is cornbread. Their pasta is awesome. The regulations that we are under are incredibly complex, and it's not as easy as just feeding kids. This year for lunch, we have $3.41 to produce a meal for each student. Within that $3.41, you have to pay for labor, you have to pay for maintenance, really anything that you need to produce the meal, which leaves you with about $1.25 just for ingredients. So with that $1.25, you can offer a protein, a whole grain, a fruit, a vegetable, and a milk but more importantly, a meal that kids really will enjoy eating. My favorite thing is the carrots. They're pretty good. If kids don't enjoy the food, they're very honest about their opinions, and quite frankly, they won't eat. It was my first time eating carrots, and I think they're okay. I like salad a lot. Making a delicious meal is half the battle. In the end, that meal has to get into the cafeteria, and kids have to try it. How are the carrots? You ate the carrots. The National School Lunch Program reimburses all of the meals that we serve as long as we meet the guidelines that they have set. The more kids who participate in our lunch program means the more funding we receive, therefore we're able to make greater improvements to our program. We brought in Food Corps to connect kids to healthy food and we brought in Brigade to help make the food delicious. Brigade is essentially a company that's putting professional chefs into grade schools to work with existing teams to help rethink school food. The existing kitchen staff that we work with in school kitchens are amazing people. They work hard, but to produce food within these constraints and within this budget is super challenging, if not impossible, if you're not trained. So even a simple initiative like transitioning from canned fruit to fresh fruit is a really challenging one when you're producing meals for a thousand kids. Food Corps puts service members like me in schools in order to help teach students about healthy and nutritious foods and gets them to try new things. Wait, Ready? Wait, Three, Three, two, two, one. So now when they see me, they understand that I'm always going to have something good for them to try and they get really excited to do that. Um, I think that trust is really important, especially with younger um, students. It's pretty amazing to see the kinds of foods that the kids are eating. It's no longer really a challenge to get kids to eat broccoli and kale. Um, we're seeing them start to increase their consumption of beans and the carrots and things like that. Thank you! Within school food, we're approaching a variety of topics, but I will say that for me, one of the most important things and the best part about this job is to think that every day we have an opportunity to just make a student's day a little better through the meals that we cook. So this is Dan Juicy. He's a big guy with a lot of gusto <laughs> and big guns, and he is the big guns. He's on the forefront of the fight to make our school food better and be compliant with the school lunch rules, but to bring great food and a sense of community, which is what food is all about, back to all of our kids for $1.25 right. each. <laughs> Woo! Now, 